Hello there, my name is Jabuel and today I'm in Kampala City, specifically the famous flyover project. If you can see behind me, that is the flyover project. And just this side, that is the former shop right. Yeah, we no longer have shop right in Uganda. That was where shop right used to be. Right now it's being taken over by that company. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through the flyover project, what they have added in, and uh, how it looks as for now. And I am joined in here by. Well, guys, my name is Masekta Uganda, and this is my friend Jabuel. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, comment, and also share his content. We are going to be touring this place. This is the Kampala a flyover. It's called a flyover project that is changing the face of Kampala and also doing its job of uh, decreasing a traffic jam in the city. Thank you guys for watching. Let's keep going. All right. the former shop right right now is having MTN service center is having uh, Soviet City Uganda Limited so we no longer have shop right in Uganda so this that over there is one of the oldest temples in Uganda it belongs to the Indians you can see even there so this road over here goes up to Owino Owino market this one goes up to the tax park old tax park Then over this side, that is actually the oldest temple in Uganda. It also belongs to the Indies. It's an Indian temple. I've never entered this side, so I don't know even what is there. So we have one here and another one there. They are all Indian temples. Then this here, this one goes up to Ginger Road. <coughs> so generally, the roads are not yet complete. They are still building it. So, 
they have made this pedestrian overpass in such a way that those who are coming from this side they pass from the other side and then those who are just coming from this way they use that and the other ones they also use that and right in here is actually very large it's very large you can see how large it is the child place very large so and then those coming this way they can actually pass there like I said these people are still working on the road so the roads are actually not yet complete although people are using it but the, the beautiful thing about it is that uh, it's now large can accommodate very many vehicles though there is a confusion still there I don't know how they are going to sort that out the the stuff they were using for blocking the roads when they were constructing now they have dumped some of them here and that that place over there they sell hardware things cement metals and uh, all those other hardware things up to that side Je vais aller Le monde est mec. Ah, Gaya Bay. Et on a ici. C'est un Gaya Bay. I'm going to show you where you will trip. Stuff looks from here. <laughs> 
Jawab aku sab. Piringan yang ayam meka meka. Zona zona rukumi. Bocu lu rukumi. So compare. Ada carrot. Wow, this is surprising to me. All this is for one thousand, my goodness. Ada nyabu kanu kame kakan. Je ne sais Bilinganya, kamu masih nato sini bilinganya, biri 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 Tengah mutono tono, tengah mutono dia yang warukumi. Ini wali sekali. So kontera mukwan warukumi. Pada mani ya, zeyang kita kau. I want to show you guys this drainage, but the sunshine is too much in Kampala. Even the water has reduced. So one thing you will notice in Kampala is that there are always these guys selling on the streets. <laughs> they are quite cheap. Kata yo ya meka. Wana lukumi. Na. Eno mirembe ya bili nganya. Nga ya raisi. Koma wo. Jeba la mama. Jeba la kuma mama. Gali. So right, right here we are on the second pedestrian overpass. Actually, this is the main pedestrian overpass. Judging from the other side, that that's the one that allows those coming from uh, Owino to cross to Ginger Road. And as you come this side, you will realize that this is the main pedestrian overpass. So. Let's climb up. Look 
Then over here, they tried to make a drainage system so that all the water coming from the other side, yeah, Shibuya, Shibuya and Tebe Road. So the drainage coming from that side passes through this drainage system up to the other side, then takes it up the other side of Kukwana, then I think up to Gaba, the Lake Victoria. So. So this road over here goes up to Zambia, Mukwano, Gaba Road, and then that is the, the the overpass for the vehicles. Wow! So last time, all of us we were wondering what they were going to plant here. But it is obvious they have planted grass. Yes, and it, it looks nice. They just watered it just now. And it looks really beautiful. And then look from here, everyone has been asking what are they going to put here so that uh, they can guide people how to pass. The truth is we don't, you know. But uh, from the look of all things, they are still constructing the road. So it means any time from now, they will surprise us with whatever they want to put. And I think it will look so beautiful. We are still waiting for that. And from here, wow, these cars, when they are moving, they really look so nice. It's obvious this guy is having a plan. The last time we were here, all these signs, signposts, they were not there. But now it's there. So these guys are really having a plan. There's something they are going to put to control the to control the movement of people. Though right now we still don't yet know. And over this side, we are having, this road goes up to Usafi. Usafi is a very old market in Kampala. And then the other side is still Oweno market. Continues up to Kisenyi. And this beautiful bell you see there is the... So this over here is the famous clock tower. They said when it is complete, it's going to bring a very loud gong each and every hour. And uh, that will be so good. This is how it looks right now.
so most of the parts here they are done putting the pavers last time someone told me that they poured this sand here intentionally so that uh, it, can, it can make the pavement to stick together I don't know whether I'm using the right English and over there this this is under the the vehicle of a bus they may they have put there some stones what they call them granite stones i don't know but they are really looking nice so most of the parts here the pavements are done apart from this side and even this side here They have, they have brought in piles of papers. But I can't actually blame these guys who are, who are not making papers. Now, man, the sun is too hot. The sun is very, very, very hot. So maybe when, when the sun reduces, these guys will will resume making putting on papers the sun is very hot very very hot but even they are done with most parts so that is the under tunnel it's actually getting dark over here